got to say this now. We made it this far into the card, and maybe you're just tuning in for this prediction. Make sure you check out the rest of the playlist. I don't normally throw that one out there. But in this fight, we have Jermaine Durand and me taking on Juliana Pena. It's an interesting fight. Juliana Pena has a great pedigree. She's a great grappler. She has really good wins on her record, too. I mean, Katz Ngano, Jessica I. We've seen a lot of really nice ones. She beat the former UFC flyweight champ and Nico Montano in her last time out. The reason why I say this is weird, and Matt, you brought this up before we started. Jermaine Durandamy's ranked as the number one bantamweight in the division. Juliana Pena, number four. What are the rankings for our main event? Uh, so Holly Ho would be ranked number two, and Reed Aldon is ranked number six. So that's just really weird in terms Very. of... This isn't even the co-main event. This is your, what, third to last fight. All that being said, the fact that Juliana Pena is ranked fourth is, again, more of a head-scratcher because... I get it, because I brought up those names. So she beat Katz and Gano over four years ago, and then she lost to Valentina Shevchenko. It's going to happen. Took a long time off and then beat Nico Montano. Nico Montano is not ranked anymore in the UFC's Bantamweight division. She was ranked near the, the you know bottom. Juliana Payne has only won since then. Again, four years ago over Katz and Gano. All of a sudden, you're ranked quite highly. Now, speaks incredibly well has uh different commentating gigs with different organizations i know she's uh, spotlighted for combate in the past jermaine durandamy your former your inaugural ufc women's featherweight champ she had to get that surgery on her hand she couldn't fight uh really tough out in chris cyborg and now picking up the pieces at 135 pounds and what can you say about jermaine durandamy matt i mean really she lost her last fight out against amanda nunez a lot of people, including the commentary team, thought that she was going to win that fight or gave her opportunities in that fight to win, which we do in our prediction she videos. She got taken down a thousand times, don't beat up. It didn't go all that well. So if you're the camp of Juliana Lima, or sorry, I, Juliana Pena, you're definitely going to be saying, hey, Pena's got to initiate the takedowns, really try and drag that fight to the mat. And she's a really good opportunity for a win. For Jermaine Duran me, there are fewer women in just MMA, let alone this division, that have a better kickboxing pedigree than Jermaine Durandamy and are better strikers than Jermaine Durandamy. And if you want to go back to a fight, because it wasn't that long ago, where, again, the fighters got to take Jermaine Durandamy down, got to really wrestle her. Steal what I was getting Look at the fight against Aspen Ladd, yeah. Matt, go. So in the Aspen Ladd fight, first of all, main event in the UFC uh, women's bantamweight division, something that doesn't happen very often. I know we're getting it again uh, this weekend, but just shout out to the ladies, I guess. Jermaine Durandamy went out there, threw one right straight, knocked out Aspen Ladd, and, like, spun her around. Now, it was an early I, stoppage? It was an early stoppage, kind of, but the fact that she hit her with one punch, took her off her feet, made her do, like, a 180, I understand why a ref would jump in, but Jermaine Durandamy's striking is on such another level, but she has the careless conduct problem. Her takedown defense is not good. We saw that in the Amanda Nunes fight. Now, I understand Amanda Nunes, she's the GOAT because... Yes, her striking is absurd. She has this God-given power, but she's good at everything. Like, her wrestling's amazing. Her jiu-jitsu's phenomenal. And I think she's a better wrestler than Juliana Pena. Here's where it comes into kind of an interesting uh, area. Pena's better on the mat than Amanda Nunes. I would argue her just straight jiu-jitsu, it's at least on par. They have a few similarities to their game. But I don't think she's just the wrestling or any of the physical advantages that Amanda Nunes, ha Amanda Nunes has. Because when you think, Amanda Nunes is massive for 135 pounds. She's big at 145, and she's even knocking out like those fighters. So I don't know if Pena physically will be able to match up with Duranami. So a lot of this is going to be taking place on the feet. Now, Jermaine Duranami, you would mention it. Like, she's one of the best kickboxers just in the UFC. Much Regardless of gender, she's one of the more uh, credentialed kickboxers. She has big power for the division. She has good cardio, great elbows, great Muay Thai. Juliana Pena has to get this fight to the ground, and I just don't know how she's going to because, again, she lacks that in between. She has the good jiu-jitsu. Her striking's not terrible. But if this fight does have to take place on the feet for any period of time, and say what you want about hitting people after the bell, but Duranami's going to light Juliana Pena up like a Christmas tree if this does stay on the feet. I would give Pena the similar advantage on the ground. If she's able to somehow take down Jermaine Duranami, that's really where this fight uh, kind of balances on, is the takedown defense of Duranami and the takedown offense of Juliana Pena. Because if she can get the fight down to the ground, I think she could threaten with different submissions, get a lot of great ground and pound off herself, and make this a very interesting fight. Jermaine Duranami so far in the UFC, 71% takedown defense. Not that bad considering the fights before a and Nunez, she took on Aspen Ladd, but ka -ching, you knock her out. And then the fight against Raquel Pennington. And for Pennington, I would think, again, similar game plan. You're getting a, 
again, Raquel Pennington is more well-rounded than, you know, a few of the different fighters that we mentioned. But like you said, well-rounded, a grinder, and she can bring things down to the mat if she needs to. It hasn't happened for her all that recently, but I mean, good win over Marion Renault. But in this fight, if you look at it in terms of the votes over on Topology, 847 votes, 75% going to Randomy, 58% of voters saying she's going to win by decision, 34% saying she could win by knockout. If you look over at the odds, they're close. Duranemi opened a minus 185. That line jumped up really quickly on Pena. She's now gaining back down again. So at one point, actually Pena was slightly favored. Now Duranemi back to a minus 135. If you look over at Pena again, plus 160. At one point, she was what? Uh, minus 125. And now Pena back up again, plus 110. So I think it is an interesting fight. If Pena goes in there quick and early while everybody's still dry and we haven't expended too much energy, she gets to random me down. Maybe she has a chance to submit her. I just don't to totally see it in this fight. I think the step up from Montano being the comeback fight to Jermaine Aranami, like it just is. It's way it too is. big of a step up. It, it's kind of a bit of a head scratcher. Same as the rankings, but again, the UFC rankings don't make any sense. Look at Dustin Poirier is ranked... Uh, higher in the pound for pound rankings than Justin Gaethje, just arbitrarily. So look into it. But yeah, I see Jermaine Durandamy winning the kickboxing again. You know the striking acumen. I think uh, it's it's her fight to lose here. Uh, sprawl and brawl. Jermaine Durandamy didn't invent it, but it's definitely going to be her game plan. If you can defend the takedown to Juliana Pena, force her to become a striker, it's going to make your night a lot easier. Because not only is Jermaine Durandamy such a good striker, Juliana Pena's striking is quite limited because her grappling is so good. So if you can make this a striking exchange, Dirt Rain may should be able to run away with this fight. Matt, really looking forward to this. Both of us going with the fighter from Utrecht, the Netherlands, Jermaine Durandamy. Keep it locked in with Fight Night Picks. We've got to extend a look at our main event between Holly Holm and Irene Aldana. And as we always say, Matt, let's get into it. 